hello everyone good evening today's message is a warning to everyone to be careful of how you treat chosen ones okay so I'm going to start off with some verses um, we have first Chronicles 16 20 to 22 which says when we when they went from one nation to another and from one kingdom to another people, he permitted no man to do them wrong. Yes, he rebuked kings for their sakes, saying, do not touch my anointed ones and do my prophets no harm. So he even told the kings, okay, don't touch them, don't do them no harm, you understand? And this also goes for how people talk to them, right? Don't even talk down on them. Don't even belittle them or try to tarnish their character because that's also doing harm, right? Now, the next verse I want to read before we get into it. It's Matthew, let me see, 12, was it 36? Let me see. Yes, Matthew 12, 36. But I say to you that for every idle word men may speak, they will give account of it in the day of judgment. Verse 37, for your words you will be justified and by your words you will be condemned. Okay, so idle words is um, things that are not bearing any fruit, they're emptiness, they're, um, could be... Like I said, if you're coming at somebody, if you're talking down on somebody or coming at them, that is an idle word. If you are just um, talking without um, having any edification in it, that could be considered idle words as well. Um, so you're going to be judged by what you say, right? What you say, in you're either going to be justified by the good stuff or you're going to be condemned, which is judged. So on Judgment Day, many people don't realize that what they say has a um, an effect on that day as well not just what you do but what you say and um, I keep hearing and it's really sad but I keep hearing people talk down on God or his chosen ones right his children they keep um, just saying things and they don't even realize what they're saying that they're going to be judged for those words because the same way parents on this earth right they don't like if you touch um, their child or um, if you say anything about their child they don't like it right it's the same thing with God God is our Heavenly Father so he doesn't like when people talk down on us when people try to harm us he doesn't like any of these things and um, he said for them not to touch them and not to harm them and you're not supposed to talk down on them or um, try to tarnish their character or anything of that nature so he said every idle word you speak you will be judged by okay so this is just a fair warning to everyone to stop talking to God's children any kind of way stop talking about God any kind of way because a lot of people try to act and say that he is not real and uh, on judgment day is going to be real then and it's going to be sad because uh, many people will try to say, I didn't know, I didn't know, but you did know. Many, many, many of his children have been out here proclaiming the goodness of Jesus. They have been pro proclaiming his word out here in the streets, out here even in church buildings or on, on um, social media platforms, people have been preaching the gospel. So for people to say they didn't know, they did know, they just didn't want to believe. And they didn't dig deep enough to to even get an understanding because they just passed it off as, um, they say, fake or man-made or whatever from other people saying so. A lot of people haven't read it for themselves, but they just say it off of other people. But then they try to say that we say it uh, and believe because of other people. But in reality, we believe and we know because God is real and God talks to us and God comes through for us every single time. We know it because we read the word and, and the word is a living word. And things that are that happen in the Bible, 
is written here. Things that are happening now is written here. Things that are going to happen is written here. So we know that God is real from his word, from how he speaks to us, to how he treats us, to how he helps us. He always comes through and that is how we know God is real. Not because of what other people said about God, but because we experienced it for ourselves in Jesus' name. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay, so I have one more verse I wanted to read real quick. Let's see, what does it say? Hebrews. 12, is it 12? 12 2 maybe? I do not remember the verse. Or maybe it was 13. Ah, it was 13. Thank you, Lord. So we're going to read 1 and 2. Uh, let brotherly love continue. Do not forget to entertain strangers, for by so doing, some have unwittingly entertained angels. So be careful how you treat strangers, um, even if you may not even know it. Some of them are angels, okay? They are sent by God to, to talk to you, to bless you, or for you to bless them. And when you bless them, then you will be blessed as well. Okay, we have to be careful. Don't don't um, pass people off because of how the way they look. Don't um, belittle people or, or try to come at people off of anything. Like you may just see them on the corner. Oh, no, talk to them. Don't be um, holier than thou. Okay, even if um, some homeless people, I see people treat them uh, very poorly, but some of them are probably angels and people just walk by them and treat them like nothing because they don't have anything but then they treat other people who do have stuff with like high regards what because they have everything or they have stuff that people you shouldn't be treating people off of based of what they have or how they look okay that is exactly why god is so good because he judges the inner he judges the heart he knows what's in here and that's not to, to be like, oh, God knows my heart so I can sin. No, it's not so that you can sin. It's so that he knows your intentions and your motives. Okay? So, I pray you all have a blessed and wonderful night. I love you all.